Okay, we all knew that was coming. Let me reload my save from before the lab so I can... What the fu- fu- what? Why is this game gaslighting me? Good thing I have to reload because there was something super important I missed in this lab. No, this corpse right here. It's a special corpse. It's our old pal Ghost. I'm sorry, it's Strelik's old pal Ghost. And clearly, I am not Strelik because I have an objective to kill Strelik. So far, it's been the driving force of this game's narrative. Ghost has some documents and some nice armor. He won't be needing either anymore. Where the hell are you, Strelok? Damn. Damn. And Doc's gone. I could really do with her help right now. When I get back from the mission, I'm gonna find the guy at the perimeter. He goes there a lot. And he may help me find Doc. Doc? You mean this guy. One day you'll finish badly, Strelok. And if Strelok's still alive, Doc will know for sure where to find him. That's a solid lead. I guess I'm once again heading back to the bar to turn this in, bolt tossing through the fire tunnel, coming up against a ton of dogs, again, and what I assume is a Sumatran rat monkey. Something Still interesting alive. people so that you mind from Yeah? Me. You think so? Oh look, now I just have to deal with the brain scorcher up north. I can't wait. This game doesn't scramble my brain enough. Once I turn that off, the zone center will be open, whatever that means. So I leave Rostock. Oh god damn it. This game is starting to make me rethink my position on animal cruelty. So I gotta go all the way to the other end of the map to talk to this guy who will help me find Strelok, who is definitely a real other human being that I've been tasked with killing. I'm sure of it. No, that's okay, don't get up. The guide tells me that the doctor is hiding in Strelok's secret place, which is inside of the tunnels in the Agriprom underground, which luckily I've already found. On my way, I have to kill another group of bandits outside the area, again, and I'm thinking about how much more difficult this was when I had terrible weapons. Yeah, this game is so much fun. Oh, what do you got for me here? A combat shotgun. And it doesn't suck? And this guy gives me a machine gun with an attached grenade launcher. I mean, I never use it because this game's shooting mechanics with accurate weapons is spray and pray. So I've been avoiding any automatic weapons. My hand is turned into a twisted, gnarled claw, like the roots of one of the zone's many irradiated trees. From pressing the crouch button, the crouch more button, my movement keys, and the fire button, all of which are required to have a non-zero chance of my weapons hitting anything that isn't within pissing distance. Yep, uh-huh. I approach Strelik's hidey hole again, hoping that maybe I can find some- Oh, come on! Hey, Strela! Strela, come on, man, wake up! You mean that this whole time... I? Was Strelok? Oh my your memory or something? You were the one who suggested that we take this precaution. Yes, I lost my memory. Last thing I remember is that I'm on the run from corporate goons. My name is John Chaser, or maybe it's Stone, and I'm the dumbest person alive. At least you are still alive. That is no fucking comfort to me, Doc. Everything you have said about the monolith is true. All of it. 
it is just an illusion manufactured in a lab next to the sarcophagus. That's ridiculous. Are you telling me that the monolith, the strange and mystical wish-granting artifact that's housed inside of the sarcophagus placed over Reactor Building 4 inside of Chernobyl is actually a myth and that it's a hoax? Yeah, right, sure. While you're away, I dug up some more info. And basically, there is a decoder to open the door which leads to the monolith controls. And this decoder is hidden in a stash and prepiant. This also sounds like bullshit to me, because most stashes I find have nothing in them. Now I am going to give you the coordinates of this stash, and I'm giving you the key to open it. But it seems that this is the only way of uncovering the zone's real secret. You know in the book it was aliens? That's not a spoiler, it's in the first chapter. Okay, so where are we at now? I have to somehow get to Chernobyl, which is far beyond what I've explored already. I have to assume I'm not ready for it, considering how difficult this game has been so far. What with me getting instantly murdered by practically anything, regardless of my weapons or armor, I don't think I'm ready for that, so I'm gonna build up my resources, do a couple of jobs, you know? I go back to the barkeep to turn in a couple of quests. I want to take more of the ones he's offering, but they're pretty boring and I've done them before. However, a little icon on the map caught my eye. Right here I have a quest to turn in. Except I've never been here before. Stop! This area is closed to outsiders. No, fuck you, I have a quest to turn in. Attention. The enemy has infiltrated our territory. As long as I tell them that Barkeep says that their boss has an assignment for me, then it's okay and I can go in. As long as I tell him that Barkeep says that their boss has an assignment for me, and I say, got it, anything else, then and only then will they not immediately murder me in the streets like a horde of mutated dogs. What are you, Dave? What are you here? What am I here? That's a tough philosophical nut to crack, my friend. It turns out that General Veronin wanted me to kill these two guys that I killed in the Agriprom Underground who gave me one cool shotgun and one machine gun that jammed almost immediately. It's like, yeah, you know, I just happened to kill those guys anyway on my way to getting blown up by my own booby trap. The General has another job for me that's a little more up my alley. He wants me to steal a grenade launcher from the Freedom Boys. That sounds easy enough. They love me over there. First, I have to talk to the chef. Or, more accurately, I have to bring some anti-radiation vodka to the chef to get him pissed drunk and have a conversation that I wish was voice acted. I'm pretty skeptical about doing anything with the Freedom Boys because so far, none of our little excursions have gone according to plan. In the last one, I got this nice gun here, but I never actually finished that quest, and that's after several attempts to get it to work in the first place. Apparently, according to the General, Colonel Skull and his boys disobeyed his order and decided to attack the Freedom Base without authorization. So we can just kill those guys without pissing anyone off. We're off, again, to raid the same farmstead from before because it didn't work at first, but then... so... I get plastered with the chef and he tells me that they hit a grenade launcher in a nearby village, and man, this village looks really familiar. And it took me a couple minutes to realize that I've been here before. This is where I found that grenade launcher two episodes ago. And to tell you the truth, I had no idea what I did with it. So I went back through my footage and it turns out that I sold it to Barkeep after bugging out of the zombie swamp the first time. And I didn't think anything of it at the time because why the fuck would the game leave a quest item that appealing out in the open for me to pick up along with med kits and stuff if it wanted me to come back later at some point to get it? I didn't think this was gonna be on the test, stalker! All right, Sivvy, calm down, you got this. Another couple jobs, you can head to the monolith and get your wish granted. Now that Lukash has taken care of those rogue duty company guys, led by Colonel Skull, he asked me to find a rat in his company. Easy enough, right? Have you talked to the chef yet? Follow a guy, wait until he meets with his contacts so you can identify him, then waste them both. Hey, buddy. You're walking away from your secret meeting place. Why can't you freedom, boys? Stop fucking everything up for me! He doesn't want to go to his meeting spot. All clear. You can approach. Anyone following you? No tail. And not a snot-faced rookie or something. That's what you think. I'm gonna go in, real quiet. Okay, where's the agent? How the hell did he already get all the way out here? Finally!
I hate that the only interesting quests right now seem to be coming from Lukash. Nothing, and I mean nothing from the Freedom Boys has been anything but a waste of time if I play it the way the game wants me to. The only thing I've gotten out of it is this gun, which is nice and I really like. Stalker, you are approaching the barrier, so do not try anything funny. But we are happy to accept any help you can give. On the border of the Red Forest, which is an area controlled by Monolith, I have to talk to the Cap about defending the border from an attack. The Red Forest is a real place, basically 10 square kilometers of wilderness in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. And the Monolith boys are the toughest bastards I've had to face yet. They're about as heavily armored as you'd expect for people who live in a radioactive wasteland all the time, and somehow only half is crazy. <laughs> So Cap gives me 2,500 rubles for the help, because I guess it means absolutely nothing to him. It's about one-third of the price of a weapon that hits things. I couldn't buy a fucking Perilous Warp with 2,500 rubles. Well, actually, these days it would get you almost two Perilous Warps. In 2007, when this game came out, it was closer to six Perilous Warps. Still, not a lot of Perilous Warps. Regardless, it's fucking nothing for the number of people I just had to kill. At the end of this, I ask myself, what else is there left for me in the zone? Some side quests that I'll have to sniff out or consult a wiki to find? That doesn't interest me. It doesn't call to me like the monolith does. Like the promise of adventure in a new land. I need to, at the very least, find out what a brain scorcher does. It is here that I get my real answers. What lies beyond the Red Forest? Horror. Destruction. Fucking ghosts for some reason? And the yellowest of piss filters on the screen to simulate the scorching of my brain. Yellow like an old smoker's teeth, like a jaundiced man knocking on death's door. Even with the borderline user-unfriendly nature of this game on this difficulty, I was not prepared for this battle. And I felt as if I'd hit a wall. As I stared at my mission objectives, it seemed like I was only accomplishing one of them. The oldest one. The driving force behind this entire adventure. Kill Strelik. Strelik has died more times than I can count in this urine-coated crusade. And before I could reach the bunker containing the Brain Scorcher, I tapped out. I closed the game, not knowing when I would return to it. But there was no way I was going to let this foul jank get the best of me. Not after people have been asking me to play it for the better part of five years. Not after every 360 no-scope from a faraway enemy. Not after every dead end. Every attack from a mutated horde of dogs. Every blood-soaked indignity. No! I will reach the monolith. And I will die trying. I spend every ruble I can on ammunition. I steal my nerves. I murder one more pack of demon hounds at the border, and as I loot one of their corpses, I noticed one more deception, one more insult, as this game tells me of the attitude of one of these vile creatures that has attempted to kill me for so long, I remember nothing else but its casual cruelty. Friend. I see through your treachery, stalker. It's time to end this. This road is littered with monolith troops, keeping me from seeing this adventure to its conclusion. Snipers everywhere. That's fine. I'll have your high-powered rifles, thank you very much. I'll take this heavily armored suit in this trailer too, I think. I am hungry, I am irradiated, but I am still alive.
I've done it. The brain scorcher is off. What you want is here, stalker. Come. Oh, I'll come. I'll come all over this fucking exclusion zone. As if the previous monolith enemies weren't bad enough, the game starts throwing very heavily armored ones at me, some of which seem to be spawned for the express purpose of flanking me, even though it would be absolutely impossible for them to do that. And I see this as a last desperate attempt to get rid of me. I can deal with all the regular jagoffs now, with my decrepit double crouch claw hand, but these new guys? They feel no pain. I put three sniper bullets in one to take him down. My extra powerful shotgun slugs have trouble dealing with them. Their steadfast refusal to just fucking die already felt like hitting another wall. But I push through, like that turd you have the day after eating the razor blade candy your neighbors give out. My strategy of keeping my distance and using a scoped weapon continued to serve me well even when I was running low on ammo for my good scoped weapon. This is 056. Absence of radiation confirmed. No large enemy groups detected. Scrofa landed in the antenna area for reconnaissance. Standing by for further instructions. Over. Oh good, it's the military again. Great. You've actually managed to deactivate the brain scorcher. Everyone almost went mad here when they found out. All who could rush to break through to the center of the zone. Hurry up is really in the sarcophagus of the station. The first who gets there will be granted a wish. A squad of veterans is gathering before Pripyat at this moment. You can go with them if you make haste. Oh, you bet your ass I'll make haste. And I'll let them deal with the goddamn snipers. <laughs> I think I'm the only person with a gun that can hit them. They follow me through Pripyat and into... This situation has gone completely foobar. This isn't as difficult to traverse as you might think. Everyone is shooting at each other, and the military helicopters only kill me a few times. As I'm halfway around the building, a six minute timer starts saying that it's the time until blowout. And three minutes later, I'm inside Chernobyl. Your path ends here. Come to me. Okay, who the fuck gave them rail guns? When did this game get rail guns? Let's see what this thing can do. Idi ka mne. Oh, Faith and Bagara kids, we've done it! We found the Holy Grail! I don't have a lot of ammo for it, but I'm on a mission, kids! We're getting to that fucking monolith! I'm trying! I'm trying so hard to come! Time for my wish! Humanity is corrupt. Mankind must be controlled. Oh, my God. 
I don't know what happened in that ending, but I know why it happened. See, I have a terrible reputation ever since I was killing all those people in the first episode, so that prevents me from getting a better ending. And I know, I know, you're all screaming right now, Sivvy, how could you possibly skip the Pripyat stash? Oh, kids, have you such little faith in me? Oh, I absolutely visited that secret stash, finding a set of absolutely killer military armor and a decoder to use when I got into the sarcophagus. Now, I've murdered an entire platoon of monolith forces and found that door. You'd think this was the end, the final test, waiting for this door to open while armored goons attempt to stop me. No, I'm led through a crossfire, hallways full of even more goons armed to the teeth, and man, I wish I had enough railgun ammo for all of them. But no, I kill them all, I waste everyone, and I destroy the illusion machine. There's no more curtain for the wizard to hide behind. What now, stalker? Have I not won? Yesterday, I see you have many questions for me. Well, ask them. And that we are the result of an experiment aimed at creating a super consciousness called Sea Consciousness. Oh. Okay, you know what? The wish-granting monolith seems less far-fetched. The consciousnesses of seven volunteers were connected during the experiment leading to the creation of the super-consciousness that is us. Oh god, kids, it's worse than I thought. It's Steve Bloom. We're gonna get bloomed again! We immediately subordinated those who were conducting the experiment and assigned them to tasks we needed them to carry out. Our main goal was to make small adjustments to the atmosphere allowing us to remove things like anger, cruelty, greed, and other negative factors from the planet. Oh, good job. How about removing all the fucking mutant dogs, you holographic whore? Unfortunately, we made a mistake, and our interference spawned the zone, which we have been trying to contain ever since. Wow, you guys are fucking awful at this. You've been taking L's since the beginning of this whole thing. You haven't done a single thing correctly. From the moment the zone was formed, many people have tried to get to its center, but we cannot let that happen. Humanity is not ready for the truth. They're not ready for the truth that you guys are fuck-ups. This is just like the Chernobyl disaster. That is why we recruited stalkers by promising them the fulfillment of their most coveted desires. Once recruited, they would be sent to protect his own secret. Your mission as our agent was to kill Strelak and his group. They got too close to finding out things they shouldn't know. A mistake was made, and your mission was to kill yourself. F fucking what? If I didn't know that I was Strelak, I... F uh, sir, are you okay, sir? You're talking nonsense. Do you need assistance? You are one of our agents sent to kill Strelak. And we're now trying to work out how we made that mistake. By not killing Strelik yourself, you fucking idiot! You stupid hologram! Our resources are not limitless, and the bodies connected to sea consciousness eventually die. If you join us, we can restrict the zone's growth. If you decide otherwise, we cannot make a credible prognosis of the outcome. Oh, so I have a choice. Except guess what? It's a fucking G-Man choice again. Because I, without hesitation, pick the do not join these idiots option. Because I'm sick to death of failing. I'm not taking any more shit from anyone in this cursed place. Whether they're a lowly bandit or a collective consciousness that seems to have never done anything correctly ever in their entire history. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And I said it's a G-Man choice because as soon as I refuse, the real gauntlet begins. Everything up to this point was an appetizer for the onslaught I'm about to face. And also teleporters. This game now has teleporters. There was one in the monolith room and now there's lots more and I've got to follow them if I want to be free of this madness. From rooftop to rooftop, I fight against all odds. And yes, there are points where I save scum because this game teleports soldiers with rocket launchers onto faraway rooftops. Oh yeah, I see how it is. I see.
What the hell? Hey, you wanted me to visit more often. What he's doing, he's not gonna hit anything with that gun. I don't know whether I was right or wrong. I guess I'll never know. But I made it. And I guess I should be thankful for that. That's right, kids. We're not going out with some bitch ending where the... Oh my god, even the credits in this game are jank. And finally, I've ended an episode without getting killed. With so many lingering questions on my mind. Do they ever control the pet population? What's even happening to the zone now? Most importantly... Who are Troy and Vic? I would have liked to end things with a big nuclear explosion, so really the bad ending I had before fits better. Until next time, kids, and if you see anything suspicious out in the wild, throw a bolt at it for old Sivvy.